Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are back in Lewisburg, Ohio at Brick Road Antique and Bistro. But before we get inside, you guys, I got a really special shout out I need to put out there. I wanna say a super special hello to Miss Coleman's class in Macy or at Macy Elementary School in La Habra. You guys, thank you so much for checking out the videos. I really do appreciate it. Today's video is dedicated to you and most especially, Cameron, thank you guys. Alrighty guys, we're gonna get inside, see what we can't find. I love being here. It's a great place, small but mighty. Let's do it. Alrighty, so there is your exterior. It is an acute little town. I mean, it's a beautiful day out here too. Okay, we're gonna get inside. There is a bistro, of course. Food's good. Nothing better than being able to eat while you shop or to sit down and eat. Let's check out the windows first here. There's a good variety of stuff. I'm digging those strawberry trays. Oh, I like that little bunny basket up there, the little wood one. Oh, looks like a reprint. All right. Let's get inside, guys. Here we go. This door's impressive. Here is just a quick overview. We're going to go over here into kind of like the primitive area first. Um, as I've said in the past, it's really not my vibe or my aesthetic, but you never know. You always going to check out faux fire, all of the booze, because you never know what's going to be in there. Uh, we definitely have some furniture. I almost said furniture. We have some furniture pieces. Ooh, McLaughlin Brothers, one of my favorites. The jolly little people. The reason I like McLaughlin Brothers uh, the most, or why they're one of my favorites, because they have a tendency to have full color. Though I will say, I have a feeling this one's going to be more black and white. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not overly excited by that one. Hmm. We'll put that back there. Love the books. Dramatic reader for grammar grades. Ooh, wow, that's a great cover on that one. Do we have pictures? No, this is far too educational for me. Oh, it's Alice. Wait, is it a, is it a, a Thanksgiving story? How many dollars is that? Five. I might need to get it anyhow investigate that one a little bit further the children children's own readers book one choose michael i might need to well <laughs> okay uh talk about shaking four now um we have little play fellows like, this looks like another oh is there any pages Barely. Meh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pound puppies, golden books. Ooh, look at this one. I'm gonna check these out and see if we can't pull anything out of here. Okay, so here's what I've elected to go with, the dramatic reader. And this, our, it says our own mother goose. Now this is copyrighted 1934. It's unusual. It's all photographic images. I, there's something kind of eerie and spooky about these. I mean, look at this. It's fantastic. Again, copyrighted 1934. Unusual. Look at him. Who is that supposed to be? Little Rob. Rob been a bobbin. Okay, I don't know, but I think this is fantastic. I mean, imagine some of these images framed. Super cool. So we are getting that one, and that is. Um. I don't know how many dollars this one is because I didn't even think to look. I don't think it's going to be more than a few dollars. See, these are all... Hmm. I'll have to find that out. Now, this one is $8. It is cut and pasting book. Now, there is some condition issues with regards to... Look at that. So you could cut things out and paste them on there and it's also a coloring book look at so you would cut him out and paste him on to create your own story as well as color in 
I love, so you can color the whole thing and then paste them. This is fantastic. I love the illustrations. Again, Mary had a little lamb. Those were cut out and pasted on there, you see? Isn't this, look at Hey Diddle Diddle. I love it. Love this one a lot. Great graphics. I don't have a date on it, but it looks like it's a 30s based on the illustrations. Moving on, I do see what appears to be as is but I almost thought that this was a reproduction, but they've got it at 375. So I'm gonna hope that's an original. Or it's a really good reproduction. Uh, so again, a more primitive. Look at the the uh, dovetailing on that one. So checking it all out because again, you never know what you're gonna find. Some meat grinders, raw. Um, so we found some ephemera and books, so I'm for that. I think we're going to go ahead and move on, guys. Oh, look at all of the pewter. Noise. even have a John Deere set up in here, but I am seeing some uranium glass down here, the sherbet, and of course the salad and dinner plates. So checking all of that out, it looks like it's more a pulled together of green. I'm telling you that green decor... Those collections, those seem to really be where they're at. We have some cut glass decanters over here. Those are $47.50. That would definitely be a Richard item, but he has got quite a few. So we don't know that we'll need those. Um, now these were actually here the last time I was here. These little putts paper houses. Um, these are really cool. You do get the whole village there for $95. So two, four, six. It looks like... Uh, I'm still going to leave those ones behind. Um, of course, we've got some Fenton with our silver crest here. I'm digging the bowls. I wonder if you get both or just one. Uh, what do we got here? 15 on the smaller. So it looks like we are purchasing those individually. Nothing wrong with that. I like those. I think that they're elegant and simple. Interesting. Richard actually has this particular basket. It's cool to see. All right, we're going to dive in here more and see what else we can find, guys. So as you can tell, there is a lot going on in this booth. So we definitely need to take our time and check things out. I'm going to set the basket down here again. Looks like we do have an older oil lamp, just apparently the base. It's missing its shade and the cranberry there. 30 on that one. Very old feather. Oh, look at this. This is fun. It's just like an Aztec kind of vibe going on to them. The little bird vase. Japan? Japan. 25 on that one. Little amber with silver overlay decanter here. That's only $10. That's really not that bad. It's quite pretty, actually. It is missing some of the silver overlay on it. But still is a display piece at $10. Not bad. I don't know that there's much more value on it. Um, not to say that there isn't, but I don't know how much more. So, horseshoes, more amber glass. Ooh, look at these with the blue crest on it, the candlesticks. Rare. Fenton only. $30 for the set. That pretty blue crest together. Flamingo feather art, because why not? A lot of salt sellers down there. Some earthenware, cute, not vibing with it. Look at those candlesticks up there, you see them? Definitely could handle an intruder with that. 30, oh, there's Christmas. We've gotten Christmas out of here in the past. Bits and bobs and pieces. We have jars here of mercury glass garland prefer mine to be a little bit more intact they still have the dresden ornaments out i think we've gotten ornaments from this vendor in the past if i'm not mistaken what is this oh look at the little paper cut out ornaments that's adorable they have 40 on it it's giving me like a late 30s early 40s vibe to it also a little spender a little spender Let's see what else we've got down here. 
This cutie is still here. This little weirdo. She's 20. And of course we've got some Victorian. Looks, those look original. The Christmas tree clips. Some individual ornaments down here. There's that spooky baby. She's still 30. I love her. Look at that. We do have some old garland. So I'm not seeing a lot of turnover because that Miro star is still here. Not a lot of turnover in here. What is it? A turbo four color projector. I've never seen one rounded like that. Hmm. Little desktop. Blum. Whoa, Santa. What is he? 65. Oh my gosh, I've never seen the original packaging to this thing. He's got two deals. Look at that packaging. That's like a twofer. You get the item plus the packaging. It's probably spendy. 125, you can stay there. All right, I'm gonna move on guys, see what else we can find. Like I said, there's definitely a lot going on. Look at this tea set. It's like we almost have a full tea service here. That is marked at 275 for everything. My goodness, talk about pinkies up. Of course, we do have some smalls up here. A little brown, oh, that thing is sharp. $6. I'm seeing something Britishy. Boy. It's boy. I don't know. What is it? It's empty. Don't know. We do have some French porcelain up here. This is a beautiful piece. That one's 35. Look at that. That's an old one too, y'all. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Look at that. 35. That's really not that bad of a deal. Oh my gosh. Blech. It's heavy. It's not light. Do we have an original? I got a, one of my most favorite baby dolls came from this particular crib, but I do see a little red riding hood, but this is the one that we're really looking at. She's probably going to be quite pricey. Is it a gear doll? Where are you at, lady? She's at, oh no, she's only 30. But I don't... Actually, I think she's reproduction now that I look at her closer. Still not a bad price on that. Hey, here's a basket of babies. Any like really weird personality? A little teepee. Um, I'm not really seeing anybody we can't live without. No, ice cream mold there and the lamykins. Hmm. What do we got over here? Kind of like a little bit of a hodgepodge. No, I don't see anything in there either. Anything you guys see? No. We are in a different vendor's booth space. Probably can tell, of course. So what do we've got here? Are some beautiful majolica. Now these look a little bit more contemporary. Yeah. Uh, those are at 58, Majolica style. I appreciate that, meaning they're done in antique style. I love this round frame here. It looks like there's some damage to it. Obviously, there's no... Oh, look at the dream pet in his cheese. What? I've never seen a dream pet in cheese before. What is this? A barcode? It says born in 1967. I've, what? Is this like a redo? Like an anniversary kind of dream pet? Interesting. Um, it didn't sport anything else. What's this? We've got Storyland pulp kind of style. Black and white? Yeah, black and white. Meh. We'll leave that one there for someone else. Let me just double check here. All right, we'll move on here, guys.
Well, it looks like Miss Lefton is still, or Miss Pris is still living here. Those are at 160 for the cookie or just biscuit kind of jars on those. Um, they seem to be in really good condition, but you know, it's a little steep for our reselling budget. I don't, hmm. I mean, I do see the blue and poly back there, the optic, it's okay. I'm kind of getting to be a little over the brandy decanters or snifters. Let's see if we can find anything else here. Got a little case of tiny treasures. Not so tiny, but small treasures. Now, some little figurines. Eh, 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 eh. The attitude. Ooh, that's a looks like a really early attitude. But it's in here. Oh, those are. It looks like nine dollars. Can I get a date on it? Eighteen ninety for the one here on the front. Mm, I don't know if they're all attitude. I don't. Yeah, they're all attitude. Um. A lot of sheet music will be found in here. Yeah, see. So, uh, Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates, $12. A black and white separated. Hmm. Okay, we'll move on. Hey, $10? I'll take Fenton coin death. That's an old, oh no wait, it's a little lampshade. I'm still not mad at that. For $10, you see it's a lampshade. But at 10 bucks, I mean, it's the perfect little vase. Um, I'll take that, sure. So we're just gonna kinda go all over the place. We've got some shoppers in here, so we're just gonna have to try to hit it where we can hit it. Uh, I'm gonna go out of order and hopefully I don't forget anybody's booth. Now we do see this tin. What's going on here? Look at this. Ooh, the pink elephant on the front of it. We do have a cracked lid, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's a Folgers coffee tin. Is it really though? It's $12. These are really Folgers. No, I think that's just a separate lid. A little bit too much pitting for me on that one. Remember, who is this? An elephant at three. Yeah. Ooh, look at this grumpy bulldog in the citron glaze. Not citron, celadon glaze. He's 10. Not that bad. Uh, some cute little figurines. I'm not in love. Is anybody else in love? I'm not in love. I'm not in love. she anything over here? No. Who's this little? Like 60s kind of looking guy here. What does he say? I love ya. A little paint hit. $8. Do we have a day? American Greetings. American Greetings. Cute, but meh. Eh. Meh. Kind of entry level piece. Um, okay, glass. Ooh, look at the decanter. She's at 40. Ooh. How much is the Fenton? 20, Ellie Smith, 14, not bad. Um, standard uranium. Not overly in love. Bit more kind of a mid-century vibe to it. $10 for the Pen Fenton Pink Crest. Milk glass. It's really not that bad. And we have a little coin dot top hat. That one's at 22 though. This is an adorable little set. Love that. Oh, look at this little frosty little napkin holder. It looks like a studio piece. So, you know, somebody would go into their ceramics class, buy that and paint it. Oh, I love these. These cameos carved into the actual shell. That one's 25. I really don't think that that's that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. It's not, um, it, they usually go for about 40, 45. So it's not the biggest money maker, but I really like, these are super fun. Give, whoa, that is the biggest metal flower frog I have ever seen. We got a yardstick trying to get us right now. 
How many dollars is that bad boy? 30, yeesh. Little brass colored, gold colored one here. That one's 14. Um, eh. Okay, I will see. What else is there? I think I found some blankets in here before. That one, pink chenille's all faded. Okay, so we're gonna get our shell here. Cool. What do we got in here? Some records. They're spinning the records, you guys. We got some pink box Barbies, very 80s, early 90s. Uh, nothing. It's screaming us. Oh, there's a brown wool afghan. I've never seen a brown. A lot of times I'll see a green. That one's 23. It's relatively inexpensive uh, for that wool yarn. I'm going to pop over there and we'll see what we can find. All right, we're going to head on over here, see what we can't see. Um, there's a lot going on in here, too. That is for sure. Look at the globe lampshade. Clever. Clever, clever. Got some 1950s chenille, so it's not cotton. It's kind of a little scratchy. Those aren't my favorite, won't lie. Um, don't know that I see anything that is just screaming for us to take it home. There's an Alan J. Squeak back there. She's got her ponytail, high pony there. Don't know, it looks like she's missing her mirror. Would she have been holding something there in her hand? Yeah, a mirror, I believe. She's 20. Uh, I think missing the mirror, that's... Eh. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything else. No. What's this? The hearts card game. How many dollars is that? Five dollars? What year? 1983. Let me see here. Definitely some 80s imagery going on there with the wizard. What else do we got? Can, am I going to be able to even focus on anything? Let's go down to the ground here. Lots of wizards, wizards, or wizards. I don't know what is going on there. Little monkeys. Not like monkeys in the tree, but... Just, you know. Uh, uh, let me see if they're complete. I'll tell you what, since it's complete at $5, I'm going to go ahead and get that card set. Sure am. Oh my gosh, I just bought this. This is amazing. It's the little professor. It's $22. That graphic is so nostalgic. I wonder if it works. There's no, you can't, how do I? It's probably like a weird, that C battery or that nine volt battery. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love seeing that. So we did find a few other things while I was looking around. First up is the Topsy Turvy doll. And of course it is none other than a Little Red Riding Hood. And we do have our granny over here. And on back of granny is none other than the big, shoot undramatic reveal <laughs> big bad wolf and it is only seven dollars i love these dolls um, we did find a chatterbox this one is from 1882 it is an overall really good condition and the best part is it's only five dollars now this one is like again a paper pulp this is all black and white but this is just chock full chock full of absolutely amazing illustrations and stories so i de oh there's pressed leaves even look at those bunnies so I definitely wanted to pick this up again at only $5. That is a steal. And check it out. We do have this Snow White pop-up book. The best part, it's in really good condition, you guys. Um, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Beautiful. Best part? $2. Uh Alrighty guys, well there you have today's shop with me video here at Brick Road Antiques in Lewisburg, 
Ohio. As always, you guys, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Now, Miss Coleman's class, it's not musty. No, we don't want musty. Dusty won't make do with. Musty, guys? No, come on. See you guys.